what you're about to watch is nearly two months straight of 16 hours a day grinding skyblock non-stop for those that don't play the game skyblock bases how good its players are on a level skyblock levels and a lot of people neglect things like the museum unique minions abbey phone contacts garden visitors all sorts of crap hopefully this should put in perspective for a lot of people that skyblock xp isn't just skills and slayers bestiary is a big one too of course because of the efforts of not only this video but this entire profile up until this point being equally sweaty I managed to get in the top 123 skyblock players as of recording but as of commentating after the fact i am position 120 right now not bad this puts me in the top 0.04 percent of 323,000 iron man players I have spent the past two hours mining diamonds because I'm too lazy to do anything else right now and figured I'd just do a no brain grind. Anyways, this is the last upgrade required to get perfect T12 armor. Look at that. I went through all of that effort for like seven skyblock xp for museum that's the only reason i have this i'm pretty sure that this is so out of the meta it's not even funny oh it's nine skyblock xp oh nice not bad where are we ranked now global ranking 170 I just realized there's an item in the museum I haven't crafted yet for some reason. Hmm. Uh, alright. Well, let's make a lava shell necklace, I guess. Oh my god, it's a god roll. <laughs> it's veteran vitality. Of course it is. Oh my god. Another random out of context clip. Uh... These don't stack, by the way. Oh, oh, you know, I, that's a T10 vamp minion. <laughs> All that's left is T11. I've burned like four stacks of hyper catalysts on this idiot. So it's going to be nice getting it to tier 11 that I'm probably going to stop with the hyper catalyst because then at that point we just need Transylvanian books and uh, a few little things. But yeah, <laughs> hello, chat. I hope you guys had fun messing with emotes. Why are you trying to boost me with boxes? I mean, I won't say no. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want it, I'll take. You can have your. It's your box. Oh, you're testing if they patched it. They most certainly did not. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Thank you. It's like I'm memorizing the spots where Scary Jerry spawn. There it goes. A. Six out of seven families max. The only one that I haven't is Headless Horseman. GG. Now, I have a plan that I wanted to execute on a while ago, but I'm doing it now. So you want to see something cool, chat? Here's my uh, Necrod armor, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have 12 flawless sapphires. We have four perfect. So one, two, three. We are going to unlock this and then put that there. I cannot unlock that yet. We'll ignore it for now. Unlock this, put this in there. Take it out. Boom, boom, boom. And now we have a perfect sapphire on three pieces of armor. Now, since Spirit Scepter can be upgraded, and I do quite like this weapon, I'm going to be giving it another perfect uh, sapphire. There we go. And then we can go into Maxwell, set my power stone to all, all intelligence it already is. Yeah, goggles for clear, spirit mask for 
boss 500k damage with spirit scepter almost 7 million with spoon oh my god that is disgusting oh you know what? hold on one last thing i forgot about this this is gonna be so unnecessary but i do not care this is my profile you can't stop me you can't stop me <laughs> Perfect sapphire on my air TV. <laughs> uh, it's so useless, but I don't care. <laughs> I I have so many perfects, and I got them specifically for this reason. That's that's funny. <gasps> A recom. Hey, finally something good. Oh my god. Ooh, it's downtime for a second. Recom? What am I using this on? Definitely an epic so that I can get an enrichment. Uh, let's do Cheetah Talisman, I guess. Why not? Alright. Uh, cheetah. Boom. Yeah. Then we get an enrichment. Boop and boop. Nice. More magic power. More... Enrichments. Another recom? Woo! Woo! Spider artifact, I guess. Boop boop. Enrichment again. Noise. I want to get all my legendaries and epics recommed. Then I can finally catch up to everybody else with magic power. And then maybe I won't struggle with blaze T4s anymore. Put Hecatomb on mask. Oh, you're right. Here, hold on. Let me downtime for just a moment. Hecatomb. Good call. Good call. Oh. Oh, it wants me to be fancy. Handle? I can't buy it. I'm on NPC cell limit. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal. You could just not claim a chest and then just let it be in the NPC. Yeah, you can get it tomorrow. It's no big deal. That's actually really funny, though. <laughs> Ooh, bouncy boots. What piece is that? Or what piece is left? I should get bouncy armor in my... Oh, GG, that's a new piece. We just need chest plate now. Ooh, 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 look at that. We just need a bouncy chest plate and then we have full set. I think I have to kill scary... 30. Why are you awake? <laughs> Go to sleep. Why the hell are you awake? <laughs> another recom. <coughs> Let's recom another talisman, shall we? Uh, tarantula talisman, I suppose. And then enrichment. Nice. <gasps> Ooh, that's a re Let's put it on the nether artifact. Why not? Uh, uh huh. Ooh. Nether artifact with enrichment. Oh, dude. Recom and a fuming. I'll take both, thank you very much. I'm thinking Melody's hair. Why not? But. Wanna see some cool chat? Something I've been waiting for ever since I started dungeons, basically. And I only managed it because of an update that made it easier to get. But I don't care. Skyblock XP is Skyblock XP. Bouncy armor. <laughs> Boom. Noise. Sorry, I forgot that was happening today. There it is. Yep. No, don't kill me. Nope.
There was a test of the global emergency system today that was supposed to happen. And they said it was at 3. It's 218, you craps. I can't imagine how loud that must have been for you guys. <laughs> Woo! We come. <laughs> Gimme. I want. I also got a gold lord the fish. Wow. Red claw artifact, why not? There we go. Ready? Plus five. Point five match find. Hell yeah. This is one strong squid. Which is funny because it suffocates if you don't splash it with uh, water breathing, right? Or fire resistance. Hey, Plague Blast 1. Nice. <laughs> Alright, I think I finally have enough. Hello, everybody in the clips. No context, no real theme, just a random thing that's kind of nice for progress, so... Uh, enjoy. I've been mining some Jasper at a grotto that Looter found for me. And I have this setup right here. So you probably have a good idea of what I plan on doing. Alright. I figured, you know, at some point, probably soon, I'm gonna get the other two scrolls. Or at least I'm gonna try. So might as well unlock these slots here. So we have, um, Ruby, Amethyst, Sapphire. Okay, I need to actually get those other gems. I have them on my island. Alright. Let me go grab them right here. All right, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I did so much mining off camera for this. Boom. Slot unlocked, perfect gemstone in my Valkyrie, which will at some point soon become a Hyperion. I have plenty of other Sapphire, saving this for a full set of gemstone Aurora. I got two extra Sapphires, one to use on this, perhaps another on Zombie Sort. I don't know. I, I mind way too much sapphire and i have an abundance so might as well at this point i already have one perfect in my storm armor gonna unlock the slot here and put a second one Whew. that is plus 60 intelligence per piece right there and i'm already all set up for mage damage with my um equipment and stuff i mean obviously mana pool equipment would be better don't have that yet but for a little damage test let's head over to crimson isle with greg oh actually greg wouldn't be a good idea right now for reasons i'm not going to get into so um sheep pet it is there we go 4.6 million a hit interesting that's a lot of intelligence not bad for using a sheep pet perhaps if i were to use a blaze pet it'd be even better because we're in crimson isle it's almost exactly the same <laughs> yeah we're not gonna see the benefit of this for a little while but it is nice to know it's pretty much completely maxed out huh huh indeed with these jerry talismans let's see how close we are i didn't even bother redeeming them on stream because they've already seen it like a hundred times all right this is our current stash it would look like all right. <laughs> Not even enough for a second purple. Yikes. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't actually go for it, I suppose. Ready for another useless clip? After the slight amount of Zombie Slayer I did, I got enough Viscera to make one of the more useless items in this game, but it is museum-worthy, so... Here it is! Not in the quick crafting menu for some reason, but... That's a Reaper Mask. I don't think it's used for anything at the moment. Maybe that's incorrect. Maybe it is useful for something, but to my knowledge, it's just Skyblock XP. Here you go. Boom. This may be a interesting choice on my part, but I'm addicted to Skyblock XP. And I have four stacks of enchanted packed ice here, so I'm thinking 
I use one of those stacks to make this. Not gonna use it. But museum. If I could, I would make the glacial scythe, but it requires 64 blue hunks of ice, which is just not happening. <laughs> I'm about to do something pretty nice here. Hello, everybody. Another clip. I'm being really impatient and just doing a bunch of stuff for quick skyblock XP, and at this point, I really don't care. Berserker armor, helmet, leggings, and boots. Whew. Are any of the attributes good? We got a vitality piece, and that is it. Absolute garbage. I don't even know what it does. Reduces your health and defense by half and reduces the cost of health-consuming abilities. As far as I know, that isn't useful, but what it does do is give me a slight amount of Skyblock XP. <laughs> Hell yeah. Two more items and we have another like 24. So we'll see what I could come up with. Okay. A lot of red sand grinding later. And we have just over eight stacks. And we have nine cubes. Now I was going to save this for a video later. But honestly the clip's just going to get included either way. So let's just get it out of the way now. I want some skyblock XP. So red sand minion. T9. Throw it in here. <laughs> oh, I'm actually an idiot. <laughs> it was all right. Oh. Oh, mistakes have been made. Oh. I guess I could just turn this into cubes then and work towards 16. Hmm. This is like the most minute, barely acknowledgeable thing ever. But my pet score is at 324. It's been 324 for a long while now. And I'm about to fix that by getting my rock pet <laughs> to level 100, which grants a single pet score. I've been mining here for about two hours. There it goes. Rock is now level 100. Look at that noise. I have a bunch of pets that are close, but not there just yet. And there you have it. 325 pet score plus one magic find <laughs> plus one skyblock XP. I just did a massive stupid. I just found out that the NPC daily sell limit does not apply when you buy an item back and then try to sell it again. <laughs> I sold Ugh. a bunch of enchanted mushroom block to NPC. And then I thought, you know, maybe there's a few things I should actually keep out of the things I sold, but it was too far back. You know, it only saves the past 10 stacks, right? So I buy it mm. back and then I'm like, oh, okay, so I'll just sell it again. NPC limit. Ah, <laughs> uh. wow. That took freaking ages to drop the first time and I just accidentally get one while ice mining. All right. Sure, I guess. You know what, call me impatient, but I just mined enough ice for the glacial fragments for um, glacial scythe. But honestly, I got the four stacks right here of enchanted packed ice. I just discovered it's about 32 an hour, half a stack at an hour honestly this may be a bit impulsive of me but i'ma just do it frozen blaze helmet frozen blaze chest plate leggings and boots 15 skyblock xp let's go <laughs> I'm about to do something of importance. Scorpion bow for museum. An update recently dropped that added gold and diamond essence shops and made it so that when you open uh, crystal hollows chests, you get diamond and gold essence. So I've been <laughs> doing this for a little while now. 
Um, and I think I might have just gone over the threshold there. I've been saving up for a very specific upgrade. Let's see. And we have enough. Let's go. High roller. Get one extra random drop when obtaining a crystal nucleus bundle. Whew. That, that's tough. That's tough right there. How much XP did I just get? I got two XP for that. Oh, I guess that's proof that the XP just comes from the number of upgrades you get, not necessarily the amount of essence you spent. That's disappointing, honestly. Well, um, I've already purchased a bunch of them for the gold essence shop as well. I'm going specifically for vitality and mining speed, I believe. So these two. I'm breaking an eager miner. The rest of them aren't that important, especially not that one or that one or this one. This one could be useful. Yeah, literally only these three are useful. And this one really isn't that helpful, to be honest. But yeah, I'm trying to get a bunch of mining speed and vitality, obviously. So I'm going to keep powder mining, getting a bunch of silex right now. So that, you know, efficiency 10 and all that. Not a bad grind nowadays, powder mining. Whoa, I just got my first diamond goblin kill. And it has a bestiary, oh God. 200 diamond essence, or 220 diamond essence. I wish it was 200. Did... Hello? I just dropped a... <laughs> Isn't that like a 1% chance? RNG carried again? Upgrades m Mithril Golem Pet to Mythic. What? RNG carried again? I... Okay, to be honest, I didn't even know it was Mithril Golem. I thought it was just a regular Golem that got the item because I didn't read the patch notes and I was just listening to Guild Chat. What the hell? In one hour? Oh, you know I'm too impatient to wait one hour. Let's 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 grab a, a little a little flower here. I think I can spare the bits. Whoa! Increases your magic find by ten percent when on a mining island. I mean, that's not really that helpful but it's pet score i guess um pretty sure that's a one percent chance from diamond goblins by the way which are already stupid rare let's go okay return to sender 10 high roller uh those are those are the only two that matter but radiant fisher six i guess unbreaking five eager miner 10 very good. Been meaning to make one of these. Scorpion bow. Oh. oh. <laughs> Is that Looter? No, that's Rexu. Rexu, why did you... That's the same exact thing you pasted when we were doing Infernal Kudra, like... Weeks ago. Oh, I just got a flying fish pet. Okay. Wow. Would have been nice if I dropped that, like, my first Emperor kill, like, freaking a year ago, dude. I waited so long for this stupid drop, and now I just get one for free. Welcome to Iron Man, I suppose. 3,679 hours and 42 minutes. We could just call it 3680 hours. Oh, we got another soul frag. Hell yeah. Oh, I just spawned a Grim Reaper. Doesn't that mean that I'm guaranteed a soul frag? Is that how that works? Wait, I didn't get a soul frag? What? I, oh, there we go. I just got two. What? What? Who? Was there two of them? Brainiest virus. <laughs> That's a funny name for a non. Oh my God. Brainiest. <laughs> He's the brainiest non of them all. Join our party. Oh no. Oh, this is about to be incredible. If they actually manage, dude, if they manage to convince this man to join a party, 
Oh my god, dude. Please do it. For those that don't know what's about to happen, the idea is that one member leaves the party. They enter a different lobby. They invite the guy and then party him and then warp him out. <laughs> Joyful virus warped to your server. One, one got two more to go. <laughs> You actually got one? Oh my god. We need to get brainiest virus. Whoever that is. The dude's just here. Wait, is he gone? Did he just warp? <laughs> brainiest virus has been warped to your server. He's gone. They got him. GG. <laughs> He's been warped out. Can we get some warped viruses in the chat? Oh, I got it! <gasps> Double soul frag! We have eight now! Yes. Yes. Only 16 more and I don't need these ever again. Let's be honest. I'm probably going to need like another four just so I can put Bob in time three on my frozen blade. But we're not going to worry about that right now. When are you getting max ghost beast here? <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes! That's good! That's what we need. One down, three to go. Submerged frozen blaze helmet. Oh boy. Plus 0 0.9 sea creature chance. And four fishing speed. It's so good. Why, why do all the fishing buffs have to be so underwhelming, dude? Hello, Chad. I'm back. What are these noises? <laughs> what were their noises? <laughs> Is that a Rev T5 down there? <laughs> Someone has a Rev T5 down here. I was wondering why the floor was changing. <laughs> oh, God. Is that going to murder? That just murdered everybody except for us. Content moment. We got 11 soul fragments from that spooky fishing session. And I think this is very much worth it. It is time finally to get a soul whip. After all this time, we finally have a soul whip. We have three soul frags left. We might have some on the island. Let me check. <laughs> Oh, we had one. So we have four now. Wow. Soul Whip acquired. Let's put that in museum. Probably not going to ever use it, right? Because it's it hasn't been meta for grinding ghosts in like 10 years. Also, its only other use was like stealing mana during Enderman Slayer, which I already maxed. Yeah. Anyways... Plus 9 Skyblock XP. Also, the next one's a plus 15 Skyblock XP. So I'm looking forward to that if I can find another item. Yes, sir. Ah! Ooh, look at that. Health regen plus 1. Also, more importantly, Epic Talisman, which means I can uh, enrich it. Well, I can recom, then enrich it. Where's it going? Right here. Nice. Skyblock level 354. So there's a, I've been thinking, I'm a little desperate for Skyblock XP right now. And I've been saving this ink for the bait ring and Thanofish, but I realized that, you know, we're gonna go out of our way to grind that ink another time anyways. So why not spend what I already have and just, make a bait or a bait ring an ink wand why not right i mean we'll get the rest of this later right now we get 15 sky block xp for this so don't mind if i do haha <laughs> noise <sighs> oh my god of course <laughs> Ah. Oh, that was a lot of Skyblock XP. There it is. Rat Pet. Oh, thank God. All right, so for people wondering, um, that is a really annoying process to go through normally, 
but they recently posted an update which basically made it so that rats they don't have a time restriction anymore they used to only spawn at like certain hours of the day now they spawn whenever and according to the official wiki now it's they spawn once every three skyblock days in very specific spots that i will quickly show here in case people are curious um all right so here we go so the first spot's over here i don't see any rats in this lobby perhaps someone already murdered them oh here's the other spot i might actually do some more of this even though i already dropped the pet because tasty cheese good minion fuel boom that's spot number three spot number four is somewhere somewhere over here usually it's behind here i think yeah then i've never seen one up here but people say it's up here i don't know next spot's over here usually upstairs yep then there's the auction house I just got another one. <laughs> oh my god, I just got a second one. That's so dumb. Okay. And then the last one's in the basement of Guildhouse, which is now the Hex. So the last spot's apparently down here. Um, oh my god, dude, that's so freaking stupid. Andrew Tate, you gotta listen to him. <gasps> <laughs> that's such a weird time to get the drop. Oh my god, we got a burger. One out of five. Ooh, look at that. Consume this tasty burger to permanently gain a grubber stack. 12 rift time, 5% moats from the moat scrubber, and 40 moats on orb pickup. And, yeah, skyblock XP. There we go. There we go. One down, four to go, I guess. Six star meal. I kind of want to try that. I don't. It looked like it had lettuce on it. I don't like lettuce. Oh, another burger. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, that was super rare. That just happened a second time. Yes. We have two stacks now. Hello. I'm back for another clip. Huh. I've been doing so much freaking rift content lately. Been killing, like, at this point, at least... 100 t4 vamp slayers and i have a very interesting milestone to show here i wouldn't call it that interesting i guess but oh my god finally we have nine bubba blisters and nine fantastic or no fantastic chocolate chips now these are both power stones I've been saving for these for a long time. Learn new power. We got the crumbly power. And then immediately we're going to go in here and get the Bubba power. Now, neither of these are that helpful, to be honest. Uh, but it is 12 skyblock XP each. Now, the more important thing that I have just managed to do <laughs> is acquire nine, eight, eight, eight stacks of hemoglass now it doesn't look like eight stacks because these don't stack thank you high pixel but it adds up to 64 so that's all that matters so let's head to the private island i've had this dude down for like months with hyper catalysts and i think it's finally see i have 13 days more boom that is a T11 vampire minion. We just reduced its time per action by like 20 seconds. We have a mithril infusion in there, hyper catalysts. It's over, finally. The most expensive recipe with hemoglass, other than uh, hemo bombs, which we'll get into later, is done. So now finally I can start saving up for a uh, blood donor ring and then eventually artifact, as well as. Uh, the presumed gallon of red paint so we can get a cloak with a specific reforge on it if that is the best I'm not sure. I think it is and then we can get Transylvanian on any combat helmet But I've been waiting for this first because the way I see it is efficiency of getting hemoglass is number one so getting the t11 vamp minion is the way to go and we are rapidly running out of minions that 
um we need to max there's only tarantula revenant and inferno as far as i know those are the only minions left in the game that i haven't maxed oh boy here we go it's update day or at least according to discord it is um so i'm gonna equip pig pet for a very specific reason all right uh you know what let's go to i don't know something with cultivating on it do that and garden Ah, that was so satisfying. Oh my god. Okay, to put it in perspective, um, an update dropped, which, like, massively reduced the amount of crops required for milestones. So, like, for example, if I were to go to, uh, I believe it's here. There we go, dude. So much better. I'm literally one XP away from a level up, which is a little sad, but mmm. Delicious, delicious XP. Thank God they lowered these because there's no way I was gonna be able to max all of them. But yeah, that was that was nice. Wow. That was a lot of golden goblins. Holy crap. Mining Fiesta has concluded. Thank God. Oh. Midnight to 5 a.m. Not as much as Ruby, but got a lot of Skyblock XP from this. And got a lot of gold collection. Just in time for the lobby to die. Let's check on our essence. Nice. Hmm. Nice. Four, three, two, one. Huh. <sighs> Ten hours of my life, I'm not getting back. But both mining fiestas are over. 184.4 million. Not as good as Ruby for me. Probably because I was a bit of a skill issue. Um, but on the plus side, 200 out of 200 for mining fiesta ores. Just barely got over the million. And. If I go to gold collection, 117 mil. So we got over 100 mil gold collection, which is plus 10 st strength with the G-Drag. So overall, I would still call that a W. And we are very close to 1.5 billion coins. Turbo. Well, this seems pretty good for now. Personal bests, huh? What's that do? Ooh. Wow, it only counts after the update. Lame. Ah, oh, man. They, they added a new talisman, which I'm about to max out already because they made it excessively cheap for no reason, and I'm not going to argue with it. Uh, the Anita's Artifact for two gold medals and a hundred Jacobs tickets. It's cheap. That is very cheap. And it's not mine. Oh, my favorite. The one that teleports. <laughs> Such good game design. Make me go for it three times, why don't you? Does it always spawn at the top, or? I think so. Thank God. Oh, I can actually get some progress here. Look at this. Boom. Thanks for the pests, 30 virus. I've given you 80 farming fortune for 30 minutes. I don't care about that one, actually. What I do care about is this. There we go. New talisman? Yes. 20% bonus pet chance. Pest. 
Jeez. And guess who can't fit it in their personal whatever this is called? Why is it so small? Room? What? Talisman bag. No, it is quite large, actually. That was page three. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to Jacobus and purchase another two slots. I'm about to get scammed. Oh, is that how you do it? You need 12 mil. Ugh. For two more? Just for two more slots. Jeez. What a scam. At least you got Skyblock XP. <laughs> yeah, like one. And now I must give more pests to the guy to upgrade that to an epic talisman, which I could recom and then give an enrichment, which is good for magic find. Two content moments are happening at the same time. Would you look at that? Just got my best, uh, my personal best in a week contest. We're now at 43 wheat fortune. And let me check. Yeah, look at that. Both wheat and carrot. I have diamond brackets in, which is funny because if you go to personal best, there isn't one for carrot. Also, the new visitor has arrived. This is Maeve. So the garden isn't full of weeds. Finally, someone worth talking to. You look like you know the difference between a crappie and a lump of dirt. I'm in the market for some rare materials. Maybe you're familiar. Oh God. In exchange, I have something special for you. Got any fermento? Harvest Harbinger, Har Harbinger 5. Good deal here. This potion isn't found on any old store shelf. Don't waste it. Grants 50 farming fortune, fortune for 25 minutes. Grants 0.25 farming fortune per unique visitor served. So we just got plus one from that. <laughs> nice. Wow, that's incredible. Hello, I have returned for more uh, shadow play clips of random progress. Um, my goal here is skyblock level 360. We're very close and I have just put together 10 composter upgrades worth of stuff in my quest to catch up with the whole pests update. I figured I might as well while I'm getting crops. So, ooh, this is gonna be nice actually. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then, one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Well, that was 30 Skyblock XP, if my math is correct. And we still have plenty more progress to make here, but that was a pretty good... That was a pretty good step in the right direction, I must say. I believe I have just acquired diamond and got my personal best up in cactus. Yes, not bad, not bad. There are now only one, two, three, four, five more crops that I need to get diamond in. Technically, I don't need to. There's no skyblock XP reward for now. There might be at some point, I don't know, but Finnegan's mare right now and this is the easiest time to do it so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it but more importantly if we go here I can actually upgrade my talisman for the pest hunting process here we go the ring nice so now we need to do another 133 to get this so, nice. I haven't been very lucky with RNG. So far, this is all the drops I've gotten from pests. Just a bunch of uh, vinyls. I believe I have one, two, three, four, five, six out of ten. I keep on getting these Harvest Harbinger potions, which is good for getting my personal bests up in each crop. But anyways, yeah. Upgraded talisman. <laughs> oh! Oh, we just got a talisman! Oh my god, atmospheric filter. What's the chances? There's people in guild chat that haven't gotten it yet. It's a 0.25% chance to drop from a mite. 
Oh my god. That's incredible. 0.25% chance? That's like 1 in 400. I've got 13. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god, it's the other one! <gasps> it's called the Chirping Stereo. Can be used at Skymarked to upgrade the Infinivacuum to the Infinivacuum Hooverus, <laughs> which applies the Stereo Harmony ability. This looks so stupid. Infinivacuum Hooverus. Sure. It looks like a TNT minecart. It does more damage. Plays vinyls at a frequency only pests can hear. Certain pests are more likely to appear when certain vinyls are playing. Oh, sneak left click. Oh. Oh, and I can load them right in. Oh, dude, this is actually kind of sick. I could just put the vinyls in there and I'm missing four. There we go. Now we're making it more likely for slugs to spawn and then hopefully I get pet. I wonder if they are going to add the vacuums to the museum. That would be kind of not. Oh, they did. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's. Oh my God. That's one, two, three, four, five items. Oh my god. How much XP was that? Oh my god! That's so much XP for no good reason. I just got like 60 Skyblock XP from that. I believe that was the last diamond required. Yeah, look at that. Unique brackets reached all of them. Every last one beautiful the next round of upgrades for the composter are available all the materials are available Let we head on in here to the composter <laughs> oh my god that is pain right there. Oh my god. And this is a good one. That was a legendary slug pet. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> That's a 0.1% chance. <laughs> That's one in a thousand. Oh my god. I should probably call Duncan and get the. 50% farming XP boost for my slug pet. What does it even do? Oh yeah, it makes slugfish easier to catch in Crimson Isle. Bonus, bonus, bonus pest chance. And you get farming fortune if you use a sprayinator, very weird. I just want the bonus pet chance, to be honest. Oh! Oh my god, dude. I'm just getting all the drops. Like, the game is just being so incredibly kind to me right now. It doubles the damage dealt to vacuums. That's the best reforge for vacuums right there. Oh my god. my god okay <laughs> so the damage is gonna go from 250 to what 500 is that how that works <laughs> oh my god well i guess that's a maxed out vacuum is it not buzzing infinite vacuum hooverus oh no i need the books right <laughs> i hate earthworms man I'm gonna I'm gonna try going for a wriggling larva first. That's why I have um, moth selected. But I guess when that's done, I'll go for the books. I suppose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just dropped uh, the other reforge for 
vacuums, which is significantly worse. Cool, I guess. If my math is correct, this should be the last 16 pests. Thank you for the pests, 30 virus. Anyways, uh, that should make a total of 250. Look at that. Pest Hunter Artifact for 100,000 coins. Why Why does it even have a coin cost at that point? <laughs> if it, Okay, you know what? Whatever. Pest Hunter Artifact. Hell yeah. Only took about like two days, three max of work to get here. Not that bad. That's another epic talisman. That's actually kind of a big deal because now I can give that an enrichment. So now that should take my pest chance with a level 80 slug. Now I got it to level 80. That should, oh my God, 94% bonus pest chance. Nice. So like, if I were just to get the pet to level 100, that should mean I consistently am getting double pests now. Yeah, there should be another 8 bonus pest chance. Yeah, perfect. And a 2% chance for 3 of them. After all of that waiting, we are back. I've been getting so many random little bits and pieces of Skyblock XP. So, honestly, a lot of it came from Bestiary. I mean, I'm at like, what is this? Beetle 10, Cricket 9, Earthworm 9. Each rank of these is that much Skyblock XP. So 10 XP, 9 XP, 9 XP, 7 XP. Uh, we're pretty close to another 1 XP right here. But anyways, we have another round of composter upgrades it's not all 10 upgrades like i normally do we're only going to be able to do six because i'm officially out of squash um but regardless <laughs> that was expensive we're only nine xp away from level 360 we're getting that purple prefix color real soon and we've officially unlocked the upgrades that cost fermento we're probably gonna run out of copper pretty soon we still have to get another eight stacks of squash though but then we never have to get squash again and i'll be able to sell it as soon as i get it just like with crappies oh hello buckworm's favorite book there we go been waiting for one of these. Uh, thank you. According to Guild, you can actually one tap earthworms if you do enough damage. But if you don't, and it's like at least two, then it's going to teleport twice, anyways. Which is so lame. But apparently you can one tap them if you get high enough damage so i'm still gonna need at least two more of those oh speaking of skyblock xp we just got another beast here that means eight more to go it's not updating but i think it is eight more to go i got excited <laughs> it was not it's the vinyl i am currently playing Wait, why did my XP go up by so much? I just got one pumpkin milestone and I got, did my, my level display just did not update at all. I thought I needed four more XP, not one. Oh my God, we're literally one XP. We're one XP away from level 360. No. No way, dude. I need one either bestiary or crop milestone or any of these. Oh my god, what is it going to be? What can it be? I think I know. It's 
probably gonna be something on Crimson Isle. It's gonna be flaming spiders. Oh my god, dude. I I stopped to check. And I need one more. Boop. Is it not gonna give me the level up? message are you serious that was anticlimactic oh, now it says i'm level zero <laughs> what is... excuse me high pixel oh there we go now it says now it says 360 level zero okay i'm getting messed with by the admins wow these lobbies are dead why is it the only hub with people in it? Hub one. Oh, there we go. Hello, gamers. Level 360. We have a purple name. Well, there it is. 30 virus is now skyblock level 360. And now I guess the next goal is 400, which comes with the mythic book of progression and dare i say the title of endgame but until then we are late late game i'm hoping what happens by the time we hit skyblock level 400 is that i have a full recommed talisman bag a scrolled hyperion some set of kudra armor to be high enough tier to be considered good i'd say at least fiery that's what i'm hoping happens along with a bunch of other smaller goals maybe blaze eight i don't know anyways g freaking g my dudes oh speaking of rankings i am ranked one two three for that and like i said bosses like look at this boss collections at least six of those eight levels are free i need to actually like play the game like oh my god this is so easy that's like 25 xp right there that's another 25 xp i could get both of those in like 10 minutes okay maybe not the floor seven one that one might take a little bit because runs take a while but you get my point Ah, uh, finally it's over.